Hey guys, it's uh, Godfather Custom coming at you on Saturday morning with a, I guess a shop update. Um, as some of you have learned, shop cards are in. So, if you want a shop card, shoot me your address in an email. You can send it to T W I P R O D 007 at gmail.com. Uh, shoot me your address and I'll get you out a shop card. Um, just for those of you who I've already sent cards to. Um, let's see, I sent one to uh, Rick Zink, Charlie McCarthy, uh, George Ramos, Ryan, See No Evil Builds, Tool Taz, Todd, um, Jody Blackwell. Um, that's all I've got out right now. Um, I sent addresses, I sent uh, emails to a couple other people waiting for their addresses. Fast Jimmy, send me your address. I don't have it. I know I used to have it, but I don't have it anymore. It's in one of my books with addresses, and I don't know where they are. <laughs> They're probably in a box in the garage somewhere. But, um, yeah, shoot me an email, and I'll get shop cards out. Um, what have I been doing? Pretty much really nothing <laughs> uh, the last couple of nights I've been just watching videos and putzing around with a motor that I'm building um, I'm sure you guys have seen this one uh, this is just all scrap parts I got out of one of my boxes and um, I don't know how close I can get with it but you know if you can't see this on here look on my uh, Facebook channel for some close-ups this has got the linkage on it it's got the uh, the linkage cable here um, it's wired for plugs, firing order is correct. On this side you can see the, um, the fuel lines going down to the fuel pump on the bottom. And uh, it's got the uh, solder headers on it. And I don't know what I'm going to put it in. It's just uh, parts. I'm going to make a bunch of engines out of parts that I got here. Um, still working on the CT build. Still working, oh, still working on the um, the Del Rio. And guys, remember I told you about the um, using Play-Doh for filling the door panels. I don't know if you can see that, but there's the door panels filled in, and these are just spare hinges. So now what I do is I'll just twist those, and I can pull them right out, and then put the doors right on the. Um, the hinges that are in the car without having to worry about busting out all the, the play-doh but yeah both doors are done now so I can get them on and start trimming the car out and uh, get the windshield in and uh, the rest of the trim on and get clear coat on it and get it done uh, blah, 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 blah. I was cleaning up the uh, 53 Ford. This seems like a really good kit. Um, not a lot of flash on it. Um, I haven't gotten to the chrome, but I've cleaned up all, all the pieces. And it seems to be put together pretty good for an AMT kit. I'm surprised because the AMT kits, I usually have a problem with them. Um, you know, they're either warped or something is going on. Um, also, like I said, this kit here came with, the reason I bought it was I got welding tanks. Um, and I got, I'll just show you the hammer. That's the hammer. That came in just styrene. I painted it and put a wood handle. But it came with uh, various amount of wrenches and screwdrivers and stuff like that uh, for my diorama. There's a, an adjustable wrench. Um, but that's that's why I bought it. Um, let's, let's see, it supposedly came with a jack too. That I didn't find the jack yet. 
Um, but I cleaned the, f the flash up on all of these. It's just, it wasn't too bad. Um, I still got a little bit more clean up to do on some of the some of the stuff, but all the big parts are all all cleaned. But there you go. Look at that. You got a uh, an air pump right. Uh, let's see. Right here, I got to get one of those fingers that Charlie uses. That's really cool. I like that. Uh, you got an air pump here. You got your floor jack, and then you got your, I guess, uh, your piece that goes to the floor jack to crank it up. Um, you got two different size motors for this for this car. Um, I got to read the instructions to see what they what it came with, but uh, you can see the difference in blocks. Um, that's your smaller engine, that's your larger, that's your, your custom engine. So I gotta see what the, what the size of that is. Um, you got a uh, wood floor decking, you got your interior floor, your bed, fenders are in here. So all of this stuff is gonna go in that soapy drink that I cleaned off. Really really made sturdy it's a good strong kit you know most of the kits that you get if you do any cutting on them or anything you wind up breaking you know you're in between the windshield or something like that um, this would probably be a good candidate for a roof chop because everything is so thick but I don't know if I'm going to chop the roof on this one it would look really cool but we'll see I haven't made that decision yet uh, this one probably would be an easy one to do because the windshields are not that curved and I won't really have a hard time dropping that down. Um, we'll see on that. But it um, comes with white wall tires. I probably will not use these on this truck. I probably will go with, um, let's see, probably some good gear slicks or some, uh, some fatties. I'm not sure. I'll see that. I'll, I'll, I'll come to that point when I get to it. Um, the chrome I haven't opened up yet. Um, boy, they got some big valve cover gaskets in there. I mean, big uh, valve covers. The heads are pretty big. Well, it's two size heads also. Two different size heads to go on here. Um, no problems with the glass that I can see, but that's that's that kit. Um, I did try working on the. Um, let's see, this over here on the Beatnik Bandit. I showed you guys the uh, the bubble top issue I had with that. Um, I did some wet sanding. I, I mean, the mark is still there. It's hard to see, but you know, I don't know if you can see it. If I put my hand up there, or put something dark behind it. Let's see. Maybe you can see it that way. But it's it's right there where my finger is. Uh, I think maybe one more sanding and a little bit more polishing, and that should buff out. It'll be really nice if it does. But uh, beat, beat the Bandit is uh, still being worked on. I still got some more plumbing to do. Um, here's another one I've been working on for the last couple of days. I've been doing a lot of a lot of scraping to get this paint off. I mean, I tried the purple bath and it's not doing nothing. I mean, I'm gonna just have to sand this body down. But 60 Impala, Chevy Impala. But you know, everywhere is that's white, the paint just flaked off. And then everywhere that's black, the paint won't flake off. So I gotta figure figure something out. I may have to use some brake fluid on there, just like dab some brake fluid to to make that release because the purple solution is not doing it. Um, and I took this whole car apart, so it's in pieces in this box. And um, 
like I said, that's the uh, Rebel 60 Chevy Impala. Um, so I'm rebuilding that. So that's another one that's on the table. So I've got, uh, I've got what, one, two, three, four, I've got six, six builds going on at the same time here. Plus I'm still working on the diorama garage. Um, I found a gas tank for the for the um, Beatnik Bandit and I've already got it plumbed in. Just a small tank. But I gotta find a I gotta put it all together to find a place where I can well, now it's somewhere there it is. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit it in the car. I think I have to put the body on and then put the tank in. Because when I put the tank on the chassis, I can't get the body on the car. So it's just the way that chassis fits in there. It goes up inside the whole body. Uh, the frame sits up in the body, so I'll have to put that in first and then add the tank last. Same with the battery. Really doesn't have a hood to say. It's just got a hole where the engine sticks out of. So that's the issues I'm dealing with. Um, I think I'm going to rebuild also. My son got a hold of this one. He likes painting. But that's water paint, so I could just wash it off. Smart thing. Let him learn how to paint with water paint on old models. It works great. But uh, this one here was a Volkswagen rat rod that I had. Matter of fact, I believe. Um, where the heck are they? These were the tires that were on this car when I did it. Those were the tires that were on there, and it had a V8 in the front, and had little uh, wire wheel tires in the back and the uh, up in up in the front there. Um, but I think I'm going to rework this one. Um, I don't even remember how I did the frame on this. It looks like it's factory. <laughs> I just have to tear it out and figure it out. But, uh, oh, there you go. Uh, I thought it would fit, but it don't. But, yeah, you know, that would be cool. But we'll see. Maybe I'll build another motor for that. But, uh, yeah, I want to re redo the Volkswagen. And, uh, I don't know. We'll see what I'm going to do today. I'll figure something out. But like I said, the shop cards are in. If you want one, send me an email with your address, and I will uh, I will get one out to you. And like I said, the names that I mentioned, they went out in yesterday's mail, so they are on the way. So I uh, hope you guys like them when you get them. Um, you know, I, when, I, when I made the logo, you know, when I went to the printer, I was a little upset because it came out in 4x4 four four, and he was going to cut them 4x4 four four, and you know what? I said, no, I leave them like this because I can write to who the card's to with a little something on the card and it's like almost like a postcard. So um, I'm going to keep them, this first batch I'm going to keep like this and then uh, I'll change them out. Uh, later on and you know do some recentering on it because you know I didn't even look at it until I got them home and like a little bit of the email was cut off at the bottom but um, all in all they came out nice the guy took a long time I could have brought him to Walgreens and had him printed quicker than he got them so I may I may do that next time but that's all I have for today. Um, happy I sent you an email to shoot me your address to get you a shop card. I know you wanted one. And that's it. Looks like Texas is getting getting hammered. Got my niece out there and she's in uh, San Antonio but uh, she's doing okay. Uh, I heard from her this morning they're not getting it too bad. But they're, they're going to you know, I, what I do in real life is 
my whole job depends on hurricanes. I sell standby generators and repair them and and uh, maintain them. So I know what they're going through over there. Anybody that has a job that I have, they're out they're out in it right now, getting their generators up and running. If they didn't start or they stopped working in the middle of the storm or whatever, so those guys are going to have a rough couple of weeks ahead of them. So I dread when a hurricane is coming because everybody goes out and starts their generator. And if there's a problem, I run around with, with my head cut off. <laughs> it just gets real busy. But um, I guess that's all I have for today. Um, and I guess I'll do another update maybe Monday. Well, no, I won't. I'll be in Miami again on Monday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'll be in Miami. I'm back Thursday. I'll do an update Thursday. So you guys have a good uh, rest of the day and good rest of the weekend. I'll talk to you as online. Uh, Godfather Customs, signing off.